hey guys welcome again and uh, in last tutorials we saw that how to install mongodb then robo mongo and then we executed the some queries including we created database then we created tables and then we insert the data into tables and today we'll see that how to search results into the from the tables and i think it is the most important query because search is a search is a thing which we all want to improve and it should be very good when you are using especially the e-commerce applications so today we'll see about the search query which is the find so uh, this is my users so by default my first query is that if i want to search all documents of that table of that collection so for that i simply give users dot get collection users dot find right and through that i can find out my results so this is the way which is displaying in the uh, in object key and here you can see that it is returning i name age country for this document and then it will return the all document all filled id name username email but if i want to see in the in the text mode then right this is the good way so here you can see that it it will return me the all result including all, all parameters right and even i can uh, give this as i told you in last tutorials too so i can give simply like this like db dot table name and dot find and if you run the query so it will give me the same result right so this is how i can query for all document in a collection now suppose let's say i want to search for a special equality condition so how to do that so for that what you can do this is the syntax for that like whatever will give here so it will find out that element only right so what i will do simply um, let's make me query so this will be a field and this will be a value so let's say i want to found out uh, people whose name is john because i know there are two names right so it should give me two values so if i give john and if i run the query it should give me two values because there are two people who who have name john but let's say i want to search something else so um, let's say i want to search john age okay so i want to search on age whose age is 45 and if you run the query then again it will give me the same now i can also search in the embedded document embedded document means uh, let's say here address so now i will search address i want to search this one suit 847 so how i can do that i will put address dot mm, suite and if i give here because that's what i want to search so and if you run the query it is giving me that uh, there is some problem in that okay i guess here so if i'm giving like this i should give this so it is saying that it fetched zero record so zero record because it matches the exact so if i give this one the big character then it is giving me the exact suite 847 address so this is how i can search in embedded document right earlier we saw the simple one then we have checked the embedded document and now i can also search why by two values right how so let's say uh, let's take example again of john so where name is john i am searching where name should be john so the name john is giving me two results but i want to search by another attribute which is id so i can give here so by the comma so or you can let me write it like this so this is my first 
query and and now i will be searching by id so my id should be i am giving my id should be this one the object id this one so if i give like this and if you run the query so it will give me one object we can also use the operators while finding the search query so how you can do that is that uh, let's say take the example of age so when i give age is 45 then it gives me the two values right because it has the age 45 so it basically matches the exact but when you want to give some operators so let's say i want to give um, let me put it like this way this is the best way and then i want to give greater than so greater than is a operator so basically mongodb has some operators which due to, through which we can find a query which we can use in our searching the results right so one of them is this one so let me write it like this way which is a good way of writing so write and this will be my query then this is of this one okay so now if you run the query this will give you all the results which have age greater than 35 right so like in this case it is giving age is 30 then but let's say if you say give me all the edges which is less than 50 so now it will give me two results because two values are there whose is is less than 50 right so this is the less than and this is the greater than and you can also combine the result right so you can say is should be greater than uh, less than 50 and it should be um, greater than um, 30 let's say and if you run the query then it will give me the same result right because age is greater than less than 50 and greater than 30 but let's say if i give greater than 48 it will give me zero records because there is no such age which is greater than 48 and less than 50 right so this is how i can use the operators and if you go in the uh, in the official site of mongo you will find there are so many operators then we have the uh, and and or operator too through which we can combine the conditions so let's say this is my less than 45 or let's say greater than 30 so it is giving me three result right but i want to combine some more results so for it we can use the and and or conditions so uh, let's first make the or conditions so how we can use that is this let's say or and then by the array operator we can use that so write me one array and then write the conditions all conditions which you want so this is my first condition right now this will be my second condition so i want all the results where age is greater than 30 or or whose name is so let me check what all values are here what you want right so and whose um and whose username is brett let's see yeah. so uh, let's say whose username is brett i think we are fine so if you run the query 
then it should give me the more results like you can see so it is giving me the first the age whose name is greater than 30 and then it is giving me whose username is brett right so this is how i can use the or query but if you want to use the end query so this is how you can use so if you give the end and let's say first let me check uh, whose results are so where age is greater than 30 now where age is greater than 30 and country is us right so let make a query where country is us and run the query then it will give you only two results right so which we already show that uh, if you don't give any command uh, any operator then by default it is end so if you give this one and if you run okay so right don't give this one because there is no need to give this when and right and if you run the query then it should give the, you the results so which is basically it says that if you don't give any operator then it will consider them as end query so it will give the results of both the queries right so this is how we can use the combine we can use the conditions so what we have seen in find in find we have seen that we can get the old documents then we can give the condition what we want then we can use the operators then we can combine the conditions right so these all are the things through which we can improve our finds so whatever result we get through find we can also sort them basis on on any field so let's say these are all my result and i want to sort them on the basis of name so that i can do so if i simply give name one then it will sort the all the results basis on the alphabetical ascending order but if i give minus one then it will be sort on the basis of descending order so like you can see this is p then uh, it will see n and then similarly m right so this is the way through which i can sort but again even among name it can sort based on the some other parameter so like let's say you want to now sort basis on the username so you can also give like whatever results it is populating sort in between the basis of username so now you can see this is a username and you can also give minus so now it will change the value according to that so for this tutorial i think this is enough for the find query and in next tutorial we'll see some more operators and some more thing which we can do through find so thanks for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos